Hello, dear student. Welcome to our My Eco A1, A2 basic level English lessons. The topic of our fourth lesson is singular and plural nouns. Let's begin. Like other languages, in English, we group our nouns in singular and plural groups. We know from our last lesson, when I have singular nouns, I use a or an before my noun. And when we have plural, I add an s at the end of my noun. When it comes to making plural nouns, there are some other rules that we should know. Let's have a look. We already know the basic rule of adding s to the end of my noun. For example, in singular form, we have one car and in plural form, two cars with an s. An apple, four apples with an s. One bike, three bikes. A monkey, five monkeys. Our first new rule, if my noun ends in sh, ch, ss, or x, then we add es. So, for example, wish, sh ending, becomes wishes, es. Match, ch ending, becomes matches. Kiss, SS ending, becomes kisses. Fox becomes foxes. So all we add is ES to nouns that finish with CH, SH, SS, and X. The next rule, if my noun ends in a Y, and before my Y, I have a consonant, then I'm going to change my ending to IES. So, for example, memory ends with Y and before Y I have R consonant. Then I take Y away and add IES. So, memory becomes memories. Body, Y, removed, bodies, I, E, S. Story, Y goes away, stories, I, E, S. Party, no Y, parties, I, E, S. So, if I have Y and a consonant before my Y, I am changing to I, E, S. Next rule, if my noun ends with Y, but before my Y I have a vowel, then I am only going to add S. For example, tray ends with a Y and before Y I have A, a vowel. I'm just going to add S for the plural form. Tray becomes trays or donkey becomes donkeys with an S. Journey becomes journeys with an S. So if I have a consonant Y, it changes to IES. But if I have a vowel Y, I only add S. Next rule, if my noun ends in F or in FE, in the plural form, it becomes V-E-S. For example, we have the noun wolf. In plural form, we take away the F and it becomes wolves, V-E-S. Or leaf becomes leaves, V-E-S. Loaf, loaves, shelf, Shelves, knife, knives, life, lives. 
I take away the F or the FE and put VES. Our next rule, if my noun ends with O and before O we have a consonant, we add ES to our noun to make it plural. For example, mango ends in an O and before O we have G, a consonant. To make it plural, we add ES, mangoes. Or tomato becomes tomatoes. Hero, heroes. Potato, potatoes. Volcano, volcanoes. And buffalo, buffaloes. I add ES because I have O and before O we have a consonant. But if I have a noun that ends with an O and before my O I have a vowel, then we only add S. For example, radio ends with O and before O we have I, a vowel, then we add S. Radio to radios or zoo to zoos, kangaroo to kangaroos, CO to COs, stereo to stereos. So now we've learned the rules about our plural nouns and how we make them. Let's look at an activity together to make sure we understand. Number one in our activity gives us the word content. Now content, we're taking it to its plural form. That means it becomes contents. That's because content is one of our basic regular plural nouns. We only add S. Next, we have nappy. Nappy ends with a Y and before Y, I have P, which is a consonant. When I have Y and a consonant before, I change it to I-E-S. So, nappy to nappies. Next, we have zoo. Zoo ends with O and before that has a vowel, so we add S. Zoo to zoos. Then I have toe. Toe ends in an E and before that has a vowel. All I'm adding is S. Toe to toes. Next, the noun is family. Family ends with a Y and before Y I have a consonant, so it becomes families, I-E-S. Peach ends in C-H, so I'm adding E-S, peach to peaches. Loaf ends in F, so it changes to V-E-S, loaf to loaves. Our fourth lesson is now complete. To strengthen your knowledge on this topic, click the links below the video. If you wish, you can purchase our A1, A2 elementary level grammar book, sign up for our course on Udemy, or go to our My Eco website and purchase our training package to receive more activities and solutions. Good luck.